Hello, my name is Fergus Kidd, and I'm the Research and Development Engineering Lead in the office of the CTO at Avenard. Could AI for productivity make a difference in your organization's work? Well, I suspect it already is, whether you know it or not. So that was a fun little way to show you an example of AI for productivity in the workplace. Because when I was asked to put this video together, instead of getting my camera and tripod set up, instead of finding a physical space to do the filming in, um, I can just type my script into that AI avatar and have AI Fergus uh, introduce myself. So hi, my name is Fergus Kidd. I am the real one, I promise. Um, and I work as the research and development engineering lead in our office of the CTO here at Avenard. Now that means I get to play with and see and experiment with a lot of the cool tech in this generative AI uh, environment, whether that be for image generation, uh, text generation, code generation, or even music this generation. Is song about AI productivity in the workplace, completely written by AI. This is a song about AI Which is just another fun example of how these AI systems are changing the way that people work. But this has a serious connotation because models like GPT-4 are allowing employees to write much more quickly, to start from scratch much more quickly, in that if you're given a task with a blank page, you know, sometimes it's much easier to start with some content so you can generate that starting point and then go back and edit. Or if you're a software engineer, you know, uh, tools like GitHub Copilot will actually read in all of the code that you have in a repository or that you've written already and give you really helpful prompts and suggestions on how to generate even more code at a much faster pace. And in my opinion, there's two futures in this. One is for an organization that embraces these tools, it enables their employees on these tools, it teaches the employees to use these tools responsibly and ethically, and this will enable employees to use all these tools for, in a safe way uh, for increasing their productivity or changing the types of work that they're doing. So maybe spending less time getting that same old report out and more time thinking uh, innovatively and, and uh, doing tasks that really involve a human rather than just maybe responding to messages or regurgitating content. And then there's organizations which won't enable their employees to do this. Maybe there's a little bit of trepidation about the tools and how they're used. So they don't enable those tools like um, Microsoft Office Copilot or GitHub Copilot um, or, or DALI generations for creative uh, and visualization. Um, but their employees will be doing this anyway. If you're an organization that hasn't already enabled AI tools, your employees will be using AI tools in their day-to-day -day life, whether that's tools like uh, free tools like ChatGPT, or whether that's uh, you know, a subscription service to GitHub Copilot for developers, the employees will already be playing with and experimenting with tools. So it is already affecting uh, productivity in your workspace. Do you feel like you can learn from me? you can either embrace that change or ignore it. The problem with ignoring it is that employees who are using that AI for productivity uh, in your workplace will be doing that on systems that, you, that an organization doesn't have control over. So they might be doing that in an unethical way because they don't know any better. They might be doing using secure data in an environment which isn't secure, that is just open to the general public. Um, and they, they may be doing that in an unsafe way that isn't moderated uh, and the content isn't being thoroughly checked by safety systems. And I think that poses a, a bigger risk for organizations who ignore the impact of AI on the workplace versus those who embrace it and actually enable their employees to, to you know, do more with less ultimately and um, embrace those toolings. See a carpeted office room with a glass door on the left leading to another office area. There is a black office chair with a mesh.
hatchback and a desk. In the foreground, there are a pair of legs wearing white sneakers and dark jeans, indicating someone is sitting and taking a photo. On the left, there is a black microphone stand without a microphone attached. Those are my legs, Rory. So my question to you would be, think about the impact of AI in the workplace, whether you're aware of that uh, and your co-workers and employees are using tools that are safe, monitored and ethical, or whether you're unaware of that, what tools could your employees be putting your organisational data into um, that they maybe shouldn't be, that isn't monitored, isn't safe uh, and potentially aren't. Uh, isn't monitored for ethical use cases too.